Um, so what I will show you now is um, how to configure Everest for an AC charger. So basically how to build an AC charger in just two minutes because it's super easy and how well all these um, seamless building blocks really fit together. So uh, this is our graphical com um, configuration tool that you can use to configure Everest. And you will start off with the EVSE manager, which is kind of the module that manages one charging port, so one outlet to the car. And the first other module it needs is actually a hardware driver. So we're adding the Yeti driver here, which is one of the open source dev boards. Um, uh, it needs energy to charge a car. So we just add the very simple configuration here with just one energy manager and nothing in between. Uh, that supplies energy for that charging port. Um, we do want this to be a high level charger. So we're adding basically an ISO 15118-2 protocol stack here. Um, that attaches to the central um, EVSE charging module. And for ISO communication, you also need the Slack protocol. So we connect a Slack module here as well that does the physical link setup according to ISO 15118-3. Um, and maybe you don't want your charger to be free, so you need authentication. So you're adding an authentication manager here. And this now requires two things. It needs a source, so something that spits out tokens, basically. We're adding an RFID driver here for a very popular chip, the PN532. And basically, whenever you swipe your RFID card now on the reader, this will basically give out the RFID tag ID uh, into the auth manager. The next thing that we'll need is the authentication manager. Um, we need to find out if this tag is valid or not. So it needs some source of validation. We're adding OCPP here. Um, so basically what happens now, you swipe your RFID card, the tag goes to the auth manager, it's being sent to the cloud for verification and the answer is being sent back. And then the auth manager can basically um, start the charging session in the, in the EVSE manager. What else do we need? We need a system module that does things like reboot or log files collections for the OCPP protocol. Um, we want to have a small API that we use, for example, to connect the display application on the charger. And then essentially we're done. Um, so this is a complete smart AC charger with ISO protocol and with OCPP. Um, yeah, and we're basically ready to go and we can just start Everest in that configuration. So.